fitness going on here, man. So listen, we got the one and only, the only one, man. Minister Copeland is here live with us, and he bought a very special guest. You know what I'm saying? The only one, the one and only, you know what I'm saying? Chloe is in the building with us, man. So we had to, you know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, bless y'all timeline with some positivity, man, because it's stressful right now in the city, man, all over because kids are, you know what I'm saying, asking for a whole lot nowadays, man. I, I mean, we came from the times where you wanted something small, you know what I'm saying? Now kids are asking for Xbox 360, PS5s, you know what I'm saying? They want all kind of stuff, man, you know what I'm saying? So we're here to bring a positive message today and do something for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we got Minister Copeland in the building with us. What's going on? What's going on? The mic on, Kingpin? Man, the mic is always on, Minister. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got a bunch of powerful words to say, so we can't come in here and not have the mic on for you, bro. The mic is definitely on, man. Chloe, what's going on? Mic check. How you doing? You doing all right? Yeah. I know that's right, man. Loud and proud. I like your hair. Your hair is lit. Man, I used to have my hair in some beads like that a couple of weeks ago, man. You know what I'm saying? So them clear beads, they going to go with any color. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the way that kids is bringing that, you know what I'm saying, old school back, you know what I'm saying, to the forefront, man. You know what I'm saying? So, Minister Copeland, what you got for us today, man? You know what I'm saying? I, I heard that, you know what I'm saying, you out here producing, you know what I'm saying, some of the top books, you know what I'm saying, out right now, man. You know what I'm saying? You got this book out called Dad. I can read. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about that first, man. Let's talk about the book, man. And before we get into the book, Kingpin, I, I just want to say thank you for uh, allowing me the opportunity to get up here and speak about it. Um, I'm trying to get on my Instagram live, but you know, I snatch it off of this on the screen. Let me get myself um, situated. Again. Yeah, yes, sir. All right, man. It's your boy, the one and only, Minister Copeland. Um, the new book out right now, Eli. He'll illustrate it. It's called Dad, I Can Read. It's available on Amazon.com right now and all online bookstores. And uh, before we get into that, man, I want to give you a gift. Hey, man, thank you, man. Merry Christmas. Bro, listen, this is amazing, bro. Listen, hold on, man. You got you got me a shirt and a tie. You're trying to switch my image up, Minister Copeland. You're trying to have me out there going yeah. to some of these services with you, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, you know. The thing about it with this book right here, if you notice, hold on, Corey, right quick. If you notice on this book, if you can see it, me and my son, we have I have on a tie, he has on the bow tie. Right. And that's the uh, thing I want to push, especially with the fathers and sons. I know you're a father, you got a son, and that whole entire that that's what I'm trying to represent. Right, right, right. Look, but I came in like this today with my scully on, my shades, you know, uh, to get people that's not following me to follow me. Right, because the images. Sometimes yeah. I just had um. Emmanuel the prophet come in like two weeks ago and you know say he has a dress down look too and sometimes I think that if you around certain people in that environment you got to wear that kind of stuff and sometimes when you're dressing down you know say it'll attract more different people because when you got a suit in the town all the time people be kind of scared to deal with you unless you all the way you know what I'm saying presentable but I definitely appreciate you coming out here in your in your regular clothes man because people gotta understand that it's not about the clothes really it's about the person in the clothes number one you know what I'm saying definitely so what really motivated you to get this book going around? So I'm like, Mr. Mr. Uh, Copeland, like what, what really? Hey, hey we're going to get into that. Uh, I got my son Eli in the lobby right now. I'm going to bring him out next. But I want to just focus on me and Chloe's new single. It's called God's Love that I'm promoting. I know uh, we, we, we got the book in the backdrop. But the interview, I want to start off with her. Yes. Um, Ask her a couple questions about the song. And then we'll get into the song. And then I'll answer the question that you got for me. Definitely, man. We so excited to see you working with the youth, man. Whether it's with the, the ministries out there. You know what I'm saying? You've been giving back. So when you're working with your own kids, it's definitely fun. So, Chloe, the superstar is in the building. Let's talk about your first time getting in there behind that microphone and singing. Like, was that really hard for you or was it easy? So you're not really, you know what I'm saying, nervous when it comes to recording, like you're very, you know what I'm saying, comfortable in the studio. And is that something you want to teach other kids how to be like comfortable and not be scared of stuff like that? Yeah. And what grade do you in, Chloe? Second. You in the second grade. And what's your favorite, you know what I'm saying, class to take when you're in school? Science, man. We need a lot more scientists and a lot of things around the world is based on science. So I'm definitely proud of you, you know what I'm saying, getting into the science more than anything else, man. So when it came to this song, you know, 
you really sang that thing. You really did a good job. I feel like you didn't have to, you know, nobody was to help you a whole lot. Was you, was you just, just, is that what you like to do? Like when you, when you're just at home, do you like to sing too? Yeah. And what gets you excited about church? Cause I know that church is like a, a very big part of you guys, you know, lifestyle and just, you know, you guys are very big into, you know, dealing with, you know, church and, and stuff like that. Like what's your favorite part about church? That's what's up, man. So what's the name of the song that you and your dad have out right now? God's Love. So God's Love is the name of the single out. And as far as God's love, what is the most important thing to you about God's love? What does it do for you? Makes me think about Jesus. That's what's right. Listen, love that, that, that people give you is way different from the love that God gives you because God has an unconditional love, meaning whether if you, you know, have a bad day or if you forget to do some schoolwork or cut the grass, God's still going to love you. That's correct. Now, the song that you guys got that's out right now, you guys got a video out for it or what? Um, actually, what I'm doing right now is uh, preparing to drop a video. Right. It's a father and daughter do it. Okay. It's called God's Love. Parentheses, it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, what I want to do is get the kids behind me on TikTok before I actually release a real video for it. Okay. Uh, with the last two songs I came out, you know, I was solo. I did Hit the Jesus Walk, and I did I'm Saved Now. But uh, with this one right here, I wanted to do something with, with, with my child. And like she said, she's been performing with me since she's been two. She's seven years old. So that's five years I've been having her. Uh, just in training. Right. So 